Welcome back everyone, it's Aaron with Mountain Biking Adventures. I'm glad you guys could join me for episode 2 of the Mountain Bike Rebuild. In this episode we're going to be painting the frame. A subscriber reached out to me and said uh, paint it with the spray on truck bed liner. He liked that idea. I like it a lot too. So I decided to go ahead and run down to the local hardware store. Found a can of that stuff for only 10 bucks. So I liked it so much what the end product of the frame. I think I'm going to go ahead and do the handlebars, the cranks, and the rear triangle. You can see basically the whole process I did in this episode is I just went through and I stripped off all the lettering, kind of etched all the paint on the entire frame. I didn't want to take any chances to uh, not have the, the liners stick to the frame. And if you guys are wondering, and if you missed the first episode, this is a 2013 specialized stump jumper and it's an aluminum frame, so it's really easy to work with. You don't have to worry about uh, going too deep when you're etching all the paint off there and jacking up your carbon fiber frame. I heard that's a big no-no. So I just took my time, kind of etched everything off, cleaned it real thoroughly, and took some duct tape, went through all the spots where I didn't want any of the truck bed liner to make contact with, cut out real specific patches. That way it'd be easy to remove all that stuff. And then with the spray on truck bed liner, I just took my time. It went back and forth, made sure I got every nook and cranny on the bike, went through it several times, and I took my time and I was kind of applying the second coat as I went, and I did it nice even spurts. That way I wouldn't have any runs on the frame. The stuff was surprisingly easy to work with. It's not quite as thick as I thought. Uh, that's why I just went ahead and decided to do it inside my garage. It was real easy to work with. It wasn't as hard as like using spray paint or something. And I didn't get any on my toolbox or my workbench or any on the floor or my GoPro. So don't worry about that. It went really smooth and I'm real happy with the finished product. I can't wait to show you guys what this bike looks like when it's all said and done. But uh, yeah, so far we're only 10 bucks into this project. Very excited. Hope you guys could join me for the future episodes. And I will see you then. Thank you very much. Bye.